Uh, I think that's the right. Okay, I think we're. Live. <laughs> yeah, <Hello. R> &D. <laughs> it was. I wasn't sure if I had uh, uh, unchecked the right um, sound, but I think we're good. Um, I'm gonna make some shuffling noises, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna. Yeah, sorry, Connor's here in spirit. Um, I've been avoiding being too loud. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, that is appreciated. Always appreciated. So, today we are drawing a multi class bard paladin, a baladin, if you will, um, with who is an awesome arm and has uh, the hairstyle pictured here um, in like the wig. So, I have like a color palette in mind and I chose a pose. Uh, he doesn't have to have a a, a little ukulele. It's just the, the reference photo I have. Um, yep. I might draw it with a ukulele. I don't know. Um, but what I would also appreciate from you guys is uh, traits to give him that make him an Asimar. Um, so anything un whoops. <laughs> anything unusual or angelic or celestial or whatever. So um, it can come from the chat. It can come from uh, one of you two in the voice chat with me. Or I can ruminate it on some more. We'll just, yeah. Porcelain lower jaw and throat. How about, no. Top scars. Top scars. With, I can show you a reference of what I mean by mm -hmm. it. If I can find it. Because I found a post that was interesting on it. Mm hmm I think I might have some idea um, May what you're referring maybe to. Maybe the fingertips are made out of, like, something that is extra hard and kind of rigid that they use for plucking strings and stuff. Like, you would have finger protections. We could have porcelain uh, fingertips instead of the jaw and throat. Um, Here, Becca, let me just DM it yeah, to you. Slap it at me. I don't know. Uh, if, I don't okay. know. If tops. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know if, like, the tops will be, like, the. He'll be shirtless? I don't know if he'll be shirtless, but. Uh, I see, I mm -hmm. see. You do a reversal of the norm where he has the very skimpy top armor instead of female. <laughs> we... Like the metal <laughs> breastplate, but it's just uh -huh. covering literally only the breasts. can give him a, a titty window. That's fine. Um, okay. Yeah. She's just gonna... Just gonna quickly... I want to get this pose over with, so she's gonna... That's valid. As someone who can't even draw things besides stick figures, posing hard. Yeah, and there's some like weird limb overlapping and uh, mm. foreshortening. It'd in this be easier one, if so. everybody just t posed all the time. I know, or wore mittens. I remember an anecdote where uh, someone was doing, like, baby's first uh, comic, basically. And they made an in-universe reason that everyone wore giant, like, oven mitts so that he didn't have to draw hands. 
<laughs> I was like, so valid. Okay. One of these times we should have a monk, but there are boxes, so that way you don't have to draw hands. <laughs> there would be lots of Just references. That's for sure. Bits. say so we can probably agree on one thing hmm. it's much nicer to draw hands than to draw feet yeah i mean at the very least with um with hands i have like a few like hand positions that i've just like i do them all the time um because yeah. they look nice and i know how to yeah. do it you have a lot more models for them and stuff. Yeah, feet are fucking hard. And every time you draw, like, bare feet as well, you get someone going, feet? For free? It's like, come on, man. No. I know. Feet of my <laughs> Christian Twitch stream. My Christian... <laughs> Give him a gap tooth because I think that's cute. Not enough characters with gap teeth, TBH. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dental hygiene wasn't really a thing until modern times. Oh, gap teeth have almost nothing to do with dental hygiene. Well, it's just yeah. a character trait. I, I suppose dental features in general because of like orthodontics and stuff. Yeah, we didn't have, um, braces, you mean. Yeah. Um, although I, I have heard of people, uh, basically getting their teeth either moved or filed down to give themselves gap teeth, because in some places, in some time, that was, like, Filing the teeth. <laughs> yeah, I know, but, like, that was, like, the it feature, you know? Like, thin mm. eyebrows. <laughs> You know, let me or the uh, quote unquote fox eyes, aka. Let, let me make sure that my feet are all, or my teeth are all lost by the age of. Right. Forty. <laughs> They're about it. They're all. Yeah. Hell, it's like. Eh. It's just awful. Okay, so let's see. Bard Paladin, Asamar, Hair. God. Trans. Trans. Booby window. So that you know. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Almost drew a nipple. I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> I don't do that here. Maybe I'm thinking titty because of Hanzo. <laughs> yeah, You're just thinking of Hanzo. Oh, like, when you have the pink wig, I was like, oh, yeah, because it's very, like, Cupid. Valentine's Day. It is a little cute. Shit. <laughs> Thinking of Hans the whole event again. <laughs> this is a uh, thirst level skin or a uh, hard eyes skin. It's. I guess you could call it both in some cases. <laughs> yeah, it depends on who you're talking to. <laughs> Valid. I think it's pretty, but most Hanzo players think it's thirsty fruity even no, I suppose it depends on how much thirsty you have to begin with it's very thirsty actually I don't well. go here but Hanzo man that skin <laughs> yeah, that's like insert Jill's favorite emote it's so close that even Jess almost got converted <laughs> 
Oh no. She don't even really play Overwatch, guy. but she like she's like tucks behind. Damn, tap uh, that. Here. <laughs> hey, hey, behind uh, it's not even here it? to defend herself. <laughs> no. Like, and she will admit that freely. She can't. It's like, hey, I, I you busy later? <laughs> you single? I mean, I it's mean... a it's a dating sim event. I don't. <laughs> Yeah, Hans is not in it. I mean, you could capture that point, or you could capture my heart. Aye. <laughs> what he said was cringe, though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but topical. I don't doubt it. No, Hans said what he said oh. was cringe. What did he say? Yeah. I forgot what he said. It's like yeah. shot through the heart, and I'm oh, to blame. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, you, you, you can do so much better than that. <laughs> Well, because it's his weapon is a a bow and arrow. I it's know. like the only one with the bow and arrow. Yeah, lots of people can yeah. shoot though. Most characters he's... actually can shoot. Most characters have guns, <laughs> but he's the only one with a bow and arrow. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, uh, honestly, a bit count the surprising. characters who don't have guns: Genji, Reinhardt. Genji has shurikens. Yeah, they're not guns. Uh, K yeah. Kiriko. Mm-hmm. Lucio. Well, no, I mean, he has a gun. It's sonic bullets, but it's still. A... Well, I guess it wouldn't pierce. So I wouldn't consider it like he an wouldn't actual be able to shoot you through the heart. Gun. Yeah. I mean, he could. It's it's more tinnitus. Yeah. <laughs> he, it's... he could definitely push in your chest cavity. Yeah, he could do some damage, but he wouldn't. He he wouldn't shoot you through the heart. So Lucio. Zen is Zinyana, not. Yeah, he's also got. Uh, Moira. It... Yeah. Still, still not clear is... on what uh, Sinyana throws, but... W would you consider Symmetra's weapon to be a gun? Um, yes, but it, similar to Lucio's, it doesn't... It wouldn't, like... It's not, like, an actual bullet yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, May has an icicle gun, which could shoot you through the heart, so counting See? that. And, and it's the perfect crime, because the bullets will melt. Yeah. Sorry, no evidence. Uh, okay, more more characters than I uh realized. But oh. they just have an interesting take of different ammunition. So well, yeah. it's like I mean, it, they're all firing projectiles except for like Reinhardt and Brig, but um, not all of them can uh, shoot you through the heart in a poetic manner. Yeah. Um. Who else? I, I'm really blanking on the name of the scientist gorilla. Oh, Winston. The... Winston. Winston, yes. Winston Overwatch. Like, Winston. Uh, has like a, tech, a Tesla gun, basically. Yeah, he zaps. Which, it's not a, again, not a conventional gun. Yeah, so basically everyone who doesn't have a gun is uh, either a tank or a healer, or in Symmetra's case, was a support. Well, they all have a ranged option, which is the thing. It's just, sort of. is that through some like, sort of weaponry, or is that a drone thing? And, eh. I don't think they really could make characters that don't have a ranged option in that game. It, it would be really hard. Um, that would be a huge disadvantage for that character. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah Briggs the closest one to that right now, I think, because she's got one kind of range, and it's like a whip shot, and she can do it every. She can only do it every few seconds. So yeah. she really, and really is a close range. The other hand, you have Bastion, who is basically a gun. He just is it. Yeah, he is a gun. I was trying to make a twink here, but people would probably get mad at me. Um, I 
can't want to listen to this, actually. Okay. I don't even know if I'm going to keep the arms this way because I feel like they're, we're going to cover up a lot of the... Yeah. We'll see. I should have some bulk because this part paladin. Where's oh. your fucking pal? Oh! Oh! <laughs> hey! What's up? Oh, well, that's a price. <laughs> uh, well, I'm trying to draw an awesome arc. Nice. How's it going? It's going. It's going, right? Yeah. TGIF, it is, right? It, exactly. It, it is, in fact, going, and I am, in fact, alive. It all always... positive, excellent things. Yeah, all good to hear. Mm -hmm. Love, love hearing my friends are alive. Yes, it is my preferred state. Uh, yeah. If we're talking about that versus the alternatives. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Let me. Just... I mean, some millennials would disagree. Well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, yeah, sure, it's a lot of work. But... <laughs> All right. 
Uh, I want him to hold a, a ukulele, but then we won't see his chest. Um, we know. We know. <laughs> we know. We know. Ah! Could you make the guitar like a crystal guitar? <gasps> uh, so it well, is see-through? Yeah. yeah. Oh! That would be a good idea. Um, I'm gonna fix this. I don't like this head shape. I just kind of for the culture, of course. Right. Yes, uh, and the strings of the guitar very conveniently cover up the nipples. <laughs> Perfect. It's like any sort of cartoon ever, where it's like we have yeah. to keep this T for T invading. <laughs> so. <laughs> There's this plant that conveniently covers up. Cat tooth. Also, Yay. you didn't say what color scheme you're going for. What color scheme I are you going for? I had a for? great idea because I got my car back today, by the way. Cheering. Um, oh, right. Yeah, it was in the shop. <laughs> um, oh, it's good. And I. And since it's still took, it's still winter, so the days are longer, but still not super long. So I was driving back uh, with the sunset to my right, and uh, I looked over and I was like, "That is my color palette." So what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> it means the sky looks like strawberries. I <laughs> uh, it's almost. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so I'm probably going for like. Uh, like a soft orange and yellow uh, kind of look to go with the hair, which gives it sort of like a very soft sunset look. Um, uh, okay. Sorbet. Sorbet, kind of yeah. I was uh, so confused. I was like, Pekka, that could mean anything in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically true. The sky can even be green or... Well, if it's green, we have a like bigger problem. <laughs> Bear, but still. It could have been I'm gray for all that <laughs> man. I feel the earth here. shake. I look to my left and I decide, yes, that will be my color palette. The gigantic fucking mushroom cloud shall be my inspiration for this piece. I mean, anyway, I have radiation poisoning. <laughs> that, that is actually a common theme in our, like, people see tragedy or uh, the macabre you make it yeah <laughs> but we're making a, a little little gay boy over here so um, little fruity a little, asmr yeah a little fruit trans rights trans just rights. very fruity just like the director of the hymns center for the arts was <laughs> I I don't think I ever met the HCA director. I have no idea who you're talking about. <laughs> it was G and D Filippo, and he one could not be more openly gay <laughs> and fine with it. Oh, good for him. Even had that stereotypical lisp. Oh. And always wore very vibrant, like, Hawaiian kind of shirts. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I definitely never met him. Kind of, but he, he was great for the HCA. <laughs> <laughs> had a very high appreciation for the arts and theater. Yeah, I miss the HCA. It closed down when I think I was in high school. Later high school, because I definitely uh, did like camp, like day camp counselor stuff there. Yeah. Uh, which meant I was 16 <laughs> and 17, because I eventually was driving myself there. Um. Had all my baby art classes there. Yeah, my brother helped with the art classes. I was, for two years, I was essentially the secretary there I during the summer. <laughs> yeah, there's a good chance I saw you working there and just didn't clock it. Probably.
So, Becca, how are we going to make him a paladin? Um, so, I was going to draw him an armor, for sure. Uh, oh. with, with the tasteful titty window. Um, tasteful titty window. Yeah. Always. Mm. Always. I, I feel like everything... <laughs> I feel like everything I design on these streams are kind of slutty. Not that I'm complaining, it's just really funny. <laughs> well, last look, week. That's, you, that's... You, listen, you gotta cater to our taste, okay? <laughs> yeah, I... That is this what is... happens when you leave it up to vote. <laughs> I know, I know. It's part of our brand. It's part of, it's part of your charm to make me draw sluts. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, you also wouldn't draw them if you really were opposed. No, yeah, I, I am capable. I am capable of putting my foot down. Um, I'm gonna go on a different layer to start doing the clothing stuff because it's probably going to be a lot of overlapping parts and and suck. Um, look, equal rights to armor. If yeah. women can have titty windows, so can guys. Exactly. Okay. Yep. And I do. Right. I do want to get like some interesting shapes in the uh the armor i don't know how to do it yet but honestly look you should look at the armor that is used in hades never no uh... <laughs> mm -hmm. just because like all of those gods and goddesses yeah unfortunately that game has a different aesthetic <laughs> Oh, what? Probably. Yeah, um, but like replace the skulls and things like that, but you can get an idea of how the outfit would lay over the body. My biggest <laughs> um, problem with drawing armor and shit is more just me not being clever enough to <laughs> come up with um, armor designs. Okay. Um, well, okay, when you think about some more, um, do you have an idea on what wings that he has? Uh, no. Honestly, that was like my always like, I don't know what wings would they look like sort of thing. Wings that are made out of rose petals. <laughs> I don't know how that works. <laughs> don't know okay. how that's gonna work, but uh, yeah. Uh, let's... I mean, Wait, hold on. Do I have it's a... fair to see how does any of it work. Yeah, I yeah. Did, I used to have a, yeah, a reference sheet of different Asimar wings, but then I don't know where I fucking put it. Do I have a rose petal? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> No. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I swear. Oh, there is cherry petals. That's kind of. Uh, like no one's gonna blossoms. know the difference. If I color them red. Uh, well, a lot of the Asmar traits I was kind of gonna leave up to the um, the peanut gallery because. Like, it's... I know Connor's a fan of making, like, really out there Asamars, and I also love trying to, like, kind of push Asamar past the, like, just super attractive, oddly colored human kind of archetype, which is a good archetype, but, like, we can do... Because, like, people get really crazy with tieflings, but they don't always do the same thing for Asamar. That's true. Yeah. Um, so, Jason, if you have any ideas as well, um, happy to hear it. Hmm? Let's see. I mean, if you're leaning into the musical aspect it could be like uh bars from sheet music uh, that Ooh. Would be, that'd be really pretty 
like the um the musical notes or something yeah, yeah like the... you, could, you could have the notes but i was thinking like specifically like the lines yeah i know what you mean. oh yeah that be interesting. the claps and the the measures mm-hmm It's also given me idea to work in kind of musical motifs into the design. Potentially. Uh... <laughs> You get, have you guys uh, watched anything recently? Like movies, TV shows? Trying no. to keep up the conversation. <laughs> I, I don't watch TV, unfortunately. <laughs> Jace, help me out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, But the only thing that... Uh, well, no, I've watched two things recently. Ooh. Um, One, obviously, as they come out, yeah, it's like, are you um, keeping up been... with... Uh, the Last of Us. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I personally, in my opinion, very, very well done. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Did you cry um, at episode three? <laughs> um, I don't, I didn't cry per se, but was, it was very emotional and I was very touched by it. And I thought it was, uh, yeah. it was, yeah. Yeah, it, it was a very, very emotional episode. Um, they definitely tugged at the heartstrings, and mm -hmm. they did a great job telling that story uh, from the universe, which I have, I have thoroughly enjoyed about the series so far. Is um, especially if you are a fan of the games, um, the the show is a great opportunity to share some of those other stories and share some of the interweavings of the characters that aren't so reliant on mm -hmm. the mechanics of the game, yeah. um, which keep it very much a game. Um, so you're just getting the story part, which is incredible. Um, so a lot of fun uh, and a great, great show. Um, the other one that I've watched through uh, just this week um, was a show on Netflix called Lockwood & Co., Oh, I think I saw the like banner for it when I was last on there. Genuinely enjoyed the fuck out of that show. Okay. Um, Good. Definitely yeah. looked interesting. Or it's... well, it caught my eyes that I remembered it. <laughs> yeah, it's it is definitely a a unique premise. Um, and they have they've done a great job of at, at least giving you a, a little bit of the lore of the world without giving you, hey, back in, you know, all this time, here's all of these things that happened to get us to this point. Mm -hmm. They're kind of it's more of a direct experience of the character stories, mm -hmm. um, which is very cool leaves a lot of mysteries and it's just fun and it's well done so oh, maybe yeah. i'll check it out because i've been kind of yeah. looking for something to digest while i wait for uh, last of us to come out. yeah yeah and this one's good it's not gonna you know completely emotionally destroy you in between <laughs> you know episodes of the last of us mm -hmm. which we always need yeah, because I know I know how Last of Us ends in like vague terms, but I I had no other idea what was what goes on in that game because I've never like played it myself or watched anyone play it. Um, I've seen it, but that's my extent. So it's interesting. It's interesting. I've also seen parts of the second. Yeah, well, yeah, I watched I watched JC a play through the second one. <laughs> <gasps> yep. Pain. Yep. Mm -hmm. I don't like that game. <laughs> Boy. I think I actually um, made it to most of your streams for that. I think I only missed a little bit. 
Yeah, I, I, I think you were there for most of it. Yeah. My opinion on that game still remains. They could have stopped at the two thirds point of that game. Uh huh. <laughs> And or three quarters or however it is that you want to break that up. Um, the game's been out for a while when Ellie is at home. Yeah. Yep. In like the middle to end part of the game. Mm -hmm. You could have ended the story there. You, you could have gone on a whole different thing. And it's still going to hit just as hard. Um. But then the end of it is just sort of like, what the fuck is the point in any of this? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the revenge plot, <laughs> yeah. I think, is what they were going for. Well, I mean, I like when Abby and the, the kid that she mm -hmm. rescues, I like that part. Oh, yeah. Um, but then, you know, they're, they're pulling Ellie, they're like forcing her because of like, oh, yeah, remember when Abby killed well, <laughs> 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 it's been out for a while. Yeah, the spoilers are out there. If you want to avoid the spoilers, you, you know, well, yeah. the, it's literally been out for years at this point. Uh, uh, you when, know, when she when she did the deed. Come, come back in thirty seconds if <laughs> you want to still avoid spoilers. I just want to say because a particular someone doesn't know how someone died, <laughs> and I don't oh. want to say. Oh. Yeah, yeah. In case Jill is paying attention. <laughs> yes. Oh, so Jill does well, not know. Oh. Jill no, has, no, no, So no. Jill has no idea anything about Last of Us outside of the show. So I, she, I don't know completely... if Jill is. I don't know if they're... because they, Jill a chance, is like... in Final Fantasy right now. Yeah, there's a chance that does they could not be mean that though. they can tune in and just yeah. work. <laughs> yeah. 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 Anyways, I'm saying so, you know when they you know the task that happened. Um, mm -hmm. I understand the uh, travel to California plot but then forcing Ellie to leave her you know beautiful wife abode and kid for yeah. what for yeah. what exactly yeah the, it was like a the whole, the whole scene drama. causing her to decide to go do that is it's felt very so, weak it, it felt was so it was weak it felt I, like it wasn't in character for her to do that uh -huh. it felt like a writer forcing a main character to mm -hmm. um you know go through the revenge plot it's like we're, we're not meeting a drama quotient <laughs> spice it up mm -hmm. it really truly is like Somebody wrote the second game, and then they handed just like the the Ellie Ellie and her wife in the farmhouse, and then gave the reason why Ellie was acting that way to a completely different writer, and went, "Hey, give us something here," and they just tacked it onto the end. Like it does, it doesn't. It doesn't have the same tone. It doesn't really feel like it fits. And mm -hmm. and then to make matters worse, the ending of that, like, you, okay, cool, you're gonna go that direction. Great, go that direction. It's like they pulled up right at the end from their massive stupidity, and we're like, okay, here, yeah. and then it just kind of ends. You're like, what the fuck did? No. Yeah, they didn't go far enough in either was... direction. They didn't. Yeah. Forget. You took something that was unnecessary already and made that just completely unnecessary. Like, it, you doubled down. D don't. It also kind of ruins the setup for a third game if you decided to do that. Yeah, it, it absolutely does. Um,. Although I do think that, especially with the the show, there are so many other stories that can be told mm -hmm. uh, in that universe, like just ongoing. Um, also, from the first game, Ellie can't be the only one that's immune. <laughs> or you you would think, antidote. yeah, you would you would think. Um, yeah, because like I mean, it's. 
Hmm. It's just that yeah. not many people go outside well, and it's also survive like, in general. Because this is... I guess this isn't really that spoilery about the show, but like... Um, I don't know. Like, there, she still tests positive for the fungus. So, like, who knows how many kids were immune but got executed because they tested positive. They didn't yeah, have the chance or, to, like, wait it out. Or how many people were... Or they just fully died because they got ripped apart by the <laughs> zombies. Yeah. She was just, just one lucky kid that mm -hmm. survived the apocalypse, basically. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Mm. So, you can easily have another story along those lines. You can even have someone who does actually go through with trying to make and mm -hmm. like a cure but something happens there even if a cure is made maybe someone steals it and holds it hostage and stereotypical and inciting struggle is destroyed and you start from square one again or something like that but there's so many things you can do mm -hmm. with it you could have uh, an umbrella corporation um <laughs> that has an underground facility uh, oh my in God. the uh, what? Wait, yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, Run oh my God! <laughs> and, and the symbol is in the strange castle, mm -hmm. even though it predates the organization. <laughs> yeah, and then you go, and you, you have you experiment on these people, and you turn it into a biological weapon, and, and you end up with a an enormous milf. <laughs> I mean, at that point, you're just printing money. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, realistic, you're just printing money if, at that point. If every game had a Dami Mommy, quote unquote, in it, <laughs> then I'll, people would be going there from, even if they aren't interested in the genre, you would mm -hmm. still get so many people to at least try out the game. Mm -hmm. Yep. As someone who is completely immune to being drawn in by such things, I can tell you it would work on a lot of people. <laughs> Hell, if that was the case, I could build a brand around that. <laughs> uh, the Dami Mommy brand? That that is my that is my now that is my brand. <laughs> Every every game that has a a certified dummy mommy, uh, I hate it this is, term. Is, that I am we... now playing that oh. on stream. That is, that is my that is my new brand. You're just playing um, Hades and uh, <laughs> Resident Evil Eight on loop. Or no, is it, it yep. seven? No, it is uh, eight. It is eight. Village yep. eight. No. No right. Because it was V-I-I-I, -I -I, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, eight. Yeah. <sighs> Nailed it. I mean, that is totally a thing. And it's usually a different genre of games. But, yeah. I mean, it, it usually is, but it could be different. I mean, heck, you, you put one in this campaign and you're going to get people. <laughs> Some players included. <laughs> we need... Where's our Dobby Mommy? Yeah. Uh, I'm <laughs> calling out half, half of this group. At Connor, where's our Dobby Mommy? I can't keep saying this. <laughs> Keep this up. We are we are missing out on massive revenue counts. <laughs> Viewership. God damn it. Uh, uh, um, oh my god, eyeballs. It's all true though. Uh. 
I feel like everyone's concentrating on something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's uh, what are you guys working on? I know you can't all be just sitting here. Very true. Currently working on editing. Ooh. Um, Ooh. Yeah. Is that Ooh, some of your stream footage? Yeah. Editing mm -hmm. some stream footage. I've. That's new I've been, Yeah. I've, I've been trying to yeah. edit the dungeon dash for a while and just. Yeah, it drains so much from you. <laughs> it, yeah, it, it does. And with with the way the nine to five was going working you know at least 10 hours every day yeah yeah and that's just the work part like clock in to clock out not including yeah, any other kind of part of it, it. yeah um, yeah I, I, it's just you're, you're just more like eight to six <laughs> oh, yes. it was what wake up at like somewhere between 3 15 and 3 45 get home sometime somewhere around in the three o'clock hour so you're looking at like just in that 12 hours um but, but hey new new route means yeah just said you, you have can a, actually get a reasonable amount of sleep a new yeah. route right is that did you are you already on it or is it starting soon i i've actually i've been uh training on it i was training on it part of this week um, I also got then called back into sub for that route because we had somebody call off, which was great. Well, the, um, <laughs> that explains why you sound so full of life. Right yeah, now. you sound so yeah. much more like. <laughs> uh, my body does isn't actively revolting against my existence. Yeah, fancy um, that. <laughs> yeah, it's this weird thing where I'm not dying and yeah. i all of a sudden can do things it's like not, hey not dying don't want to die <laughs> yeah um no it, it's 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 really nice um hopefully we, we, we slightly exaggerate but it's what it feels like <laughs> only slightly though that only is slightly. the worst part yeah. Um, yes yeah no and that one was bad um can confirm uh so i was covering for that old route yesterday um God, just the fucking chaos in the last two days that i've experienced is something else entirely um but the guy who is taking over the route um was on the route for two days um he came to help me finish that route mm -hmm. after covering a shorter one and straight up it tells me yeah dude this route sucks I was like, yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, fucking imagine that <laughs> it's like yeah it took you two days all right well okay cool i at least lasted longer before i was like yeah this route sucks <laughs> just shows well, how much really of a needed. you are what you really needed was to call that tv show undercover boss <laughs> get like whoever no. is the one in management or who owns the company to you run that route with you and see what they feel they wouldn't last they would i think that would be in be, your benefit <laughs> they would just be done but yeah no they would just be done um and, i don't and even know if they make that show anymore <laughs> I don't think they that do. Think might so. might really be dating us. <laughs> yeah. As of Duh. the stream, it is uh, two thousand and five. Uh, <laughs> I don't know when Undercover Boss I, ran. <laughs> I mean, hold on, just a second. I feel like two thousand eight was. Yeah, what? Okay, give give him earrings. How is he fruity without earrings? <laughs> What kind of earrings? Dangles or uh, gauges? I don't know. Or... Hoops. Hoops? I don't know. Hoops with what? a little extra dangly at the bottom. <laughs> what was it, Jace? So, Undercover Boss 
uh, original release date was February 7th, 2010. So, wow, uh, I was way off. Happy 13th oh. birthday to Undercover Boss, only a couple days late. Oh, God. Um, it's still good. As as of today it has not been canceled or yeah. renewed for a 12th yeah. season <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah uh there were episodes that were released in 2022 um i, I imagine covid probably took a hit on uh, the yeah. new development probably. of it yeah Probably. Yeah. How can you interact with your employees when you're supposed to stay yeah. six feet away? You can't mm -hmm. really caught them in something, catch them in in something if they're not there. <laughs> can't do it if it's all digital. Yeah. I do I'm think the workplace has changed a lot. You're I'm loving, loving this radiant rings I know, going I on here. I kind of like it. <laughs> uh. I said I was going to work in like a, a musical motif, but I ended up just going for the sun. So, <laughs> it's, oops. But there's nothing wrong with that. Not for the fucking sun, bro. <laughs> she came down in a bubble, dog. Um... <laughs> down in a bubble, dog. This <laughs> is the way you said <laughs> the first thing reminded me of that cadence so perfectly. Wait, 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 wait. Bro. <laughs> She came down in a bubble, dog. What do you not understand? <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep, that's it. Right the fuck there. Pack it in. We're not topping that. <laughs> uh, well, one of us could easily say something completely ludicrous. Is ludicrous still alive? Yes, he is. Uh, he he is on TikTok. He's on, he's on TikTok. Yep, he he is. Yep, he's man's is still relevant, or at least trying to be. No, he he is absolutely still relevant, and honestly, dude still looks good. Yeah, well, good for him. Good for him. I mean, absolutely, yeah. Becca, do you have the drawing seat? What? Do you have the drawing seat? Um. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Insert mild gay panic. <laughs> I mean, I was like, hmm. Becca's program is gonna crash at some point, yeah. right? <laughs> Clip Studio Bane has only crashed on me once. I know, but you don't want to risk losing your yeah, podcast. Yeah, I do have autosave going every 30 minutes, I think. Or something yeah, like that. This is but, me uh, being paranoid yeah, when my no, program doesn't do that. There's, so. a, there's <laughs> a reason that I have um, a button on my personal channel that is uh -huh. like, hey, save. When I, when I saw that loading on your mouse, I was like, mm, no. That's the auto save, yeah. Don't, don't, it, don't it crash. It does lock it up a little bit, but... Uh... <laughs> You're recording! Of course it's gonna lock up! Yeah. Oh, I'm not recording. Oh, you're not recording! <laughs> Fuck! I was gonna do it in this one. God damn it! God damn it! You never remember to record the time lapse. Becca, I know. We, 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 we should put a like pinned message in the um, Discord, just like checklist. Save every thirty <laughs> minutes. Record <laughs> all that stuff. Yeah. Armor on his arms. Ooh. I don't know how to do that. Um, armor on his arms. Yeah, like this this area. Oh. Huh. 
I mean, you can have like padded. Uh, what do you call it? <laughs> Yeah, we could go for that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing sexier than that, honestly. Honestly, you're so right. <laughs> I'll give any. Oh, oh I'll it... take any excuse to. Uh... Is it his nails glowing on this one, or is that just a... <laughs> Um, I was. Is an indicator. <laughs> I was trying to um work in the like porcelain idea from Connor. And initially, I was going to do, um, like, uh, porcelain, like, fingertips, but I didn't like how that was happening, so uh, my idea is, like, porcelain fingernails. That could work, could, yeah. like, finger pick. Yep. Finger... Finger pick? Finger picking <laughs> like, is just a way to play a like a guitar or something where you're literally using your oh, fingers instead of a oh, instead yeah. of a pick. Oh, yeah. that'd be clever. Yeah. Cause they would feel like porcelain too, so they'd be a little bit like harder than uh fingernails. Right. Fingernails. Um So don't let him scratch you basically. <laughs> Oh, he's just gonna, he gives great back yeah. scratches. Yeah, unless if you're into that. <laughs> oh my are. god. <laughs> oh my god. The back scratches from this guy are legendary. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> the awesome art of, of back scratches. Um, Do you think, is there a patron saint of back scratches? Jace, you should put that in your game. <laughs> Back scratches. The patron of back scratches. <laughs> mm. Give it to like the healing guy. <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh, I mean, it is technically Holy within symbol is a back scratcher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like all, all of, they're all masseuses that follow. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I do like this idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a good grade in world building. Uh, Yay! <laughs> something well, that you have been doing some world achieve. building recently. Huh? I, you have well, been doing some. A little bit, yeah. I've been um, working on finally sitting down and naming um, the stuff in my... No the, the places in my novel. You know, the thing I've been working on for years at this point. <laughs> on and off, because I have terrible discipline. I mean, you have much better discipline with drawing stuff. Yeah, well, the thing is, what helps is I can um, multitask while I draw. I can't do that with writing. I have to, like, actually sit down and, and like, I can put on music, but I can't, like, it's harder if I sit in a call with people. I can't watch, like, a show on the side. Uh, I can't have, like, I, I basically, it's a lot harder to write when people are talking. No. I actually might be how my brain works. I find it harder to pay attention to writing stuff when I'm listening to music than yeah, when I'm having full that. conversations with people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike. Let's see. I mean, usually it's poems, which is a bit easier. Yeah. Maybe that's easier if you're doing poetry rather than prose. I do prose, but a lot more poetry. <laughs> and the only poetry I do is absolutely cringe and not meant to be shared. <clears throat> One of the things whenever I play some sort of bard or the like in a game is I like making up songs for that world. Mm -hmm. Songwriting, I feel like, is really similar to uh, poetry. Yeah. Just because, like, you're—I mean, you're—you're yeah. you're writing something with structure. It's just also a tune in it. Slightly different flow and all that. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, I when I vote the poem is Haru that made Connor like throw up his hands like, well, what's <laughs> the point? Um, yeah, I was still conversing with everyone in the middle of it. It's just whenever there's a free time. Hmm. It actually kind of helps sometimes to have that breaking up the thoughts because you can get so focused down one route mm -hmm. that you don't consider alternatives. What's the leg we're going to be? Uh, I mean, armored, obviously. Uh, fucking, I'm fucking these music notes. Uh, music. Maybe the boots have little spurs on them, but they're notes. Like eight notes. Boots with the spurs. With the spurs. Becca, no. <laughs> That, no. that was such I a was quiet just the way of nostalgia. <laughs> I was like worried no one would react button. to it and I was going to be Next thing you know. Next thing Show to you know. got low, 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 low. Hell yeah. Chase Me dancing to that <laughs> fucking song. Oh my god. <clears throat> also, the I uttered the phrase at work today. Yeah, I remember doing that like 15, 16 years ago, and I went, This is not I'm, okay. I'm a fake. Yep, mm. it's all fake. It's all fake. Yup. I mean, just be a fake. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Easy. Be a fae. <laughs> Easy clap. Easy clap. Just do it. Right, that's him. like one of those responses. Like, how do I solve this problem? Well, you just do this, and it's something completely insane, but posited as though it's normal. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. I need to post this TikTok somewhere. It was this um, uh, weather guy in North Dakota, mm -hmm. uh, of all places. <laughs> yeah. Just genuinely fucking hilarious. Um, and at the end, th they show this clip and he's like, and, you know, they're obviously they're panning across a very snowy snowscape. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like genuine, like snowstorm type of shit. And he's like, yeah, and some of you, you know, if you're thinking about, uh, you know, maybe going outside or driving somewhere. Just don't. 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 It just <laughs> don't. That was it. That was the clip. And oh my <laughs> god, I'm I... sitting there in the truck, and the guy that I'm trained, we, oh, we needed. It was like, it was easily like five minutes of us just fucking dying. <laughs> We're like, yeah, no. just don't. That's that is that's now the thing. Just don't. Just don't. <laughs> so. It, like, have you seen the snow drifts that come over some parts of the northern Great Plains? Some of the snow drifts, there are literal tunnels that are 13 feet high mm -hmm. dug through the snow because it just piles up with it being so open. There, I saw some footage um... Now, obviously, this is a little bit different um, because there was that just massive uh, snowstorm that, that came through uh, that part of the U.S. What was it like beginning of the year? Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. And there were because especially like up in North Dakota, they shut down the highways because they couldn't mm -hmm. keep up. So 
you had a bunch of trucks that were just all parked in parking lots. Um, there were some of them like three days later because of how the trucks were parked. Yeah, the, the snow was bad, but these drifts were as tall as the trucks. It's There's no traction on anything. So if there is something for the snow to get caught on, it just makes a mound and then it just builds up from there. Mm-hmm. It's <sighs> wild to see. <laughs> Another really wild thing to see is out over a freshwater lake during that snow, like Lake Michigan, there are so many different bizarre formations in the water where there's like ice and sand. There's fields of head-sized balls of ice and sand. There's large like 15 foot high steep slopes that just suddenly drop off and then another one that just suddenly drops off. There's little mounds where things rolled up and the snow piled over them but then the wind carried those mound the thing that was covered away and so it's like a bunch of little foxholes is what it looks like it's wild seeing all the different formations in the ice on the shore it's crazy yeah <coughs> i'm focusing now uh, oh i realized he don't needed be doing a that. sword <laughs> Yeah. Don't be doing that now. What do we? What do we do here? Think? Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> the yeah. Look, look. When you got a whole bunch of mentally spicy people together doing things, we do have a lot of mentally spicy people. It's true. <laughs> yep. High levels of mental spice. Which, I mean, if you consider the tolerance for spice that most white people have. Any amount of spice is too much. I mean, there is that. Yeah. <laughs> there is that. There is that. Oh. It's it's sad because it works <laughs> in multiple ways. <laughs> so on the. But said I've already gone up a level and a half of Final Fantasy. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Mm. And Dragoon is almost at the level of the Arcanist. Mm. And then I can continue with the main story. <laughs> I was thinking possibly uh swapping out next friday's art stream for an overwatch stream that reminds me if mm -hmm. you two would be interested specifically jason jolly because I... since you're on your new route maybe you'll have the the time i i think i might I think i might be able to do that yeah. i think i theoretically have overwatch too because i own the original well overwatch 2 is but... free but um, yeah, but I mean all the more heroes that were had all the heroes and stuff mm -hmm. that were in the first. But I haven't played it. Jason, when was the last time you played? Oh, that is a great question. Um, I, have I you might... logged in since season one? No. Uh, you're not going to have the new character. You're not going to have Ramatra unlocked. Probably you know, not. You know the last time I played? <laughs> or Orza had just come out. Uh, which one had just come out? Oh, Orisa. Oh. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Back yeah. in the day. It's Although I think if we're in a group, while. I think Jace would have access to Ramatra. Cause it, or maybe that's only... Uh, I mean, it's only new players. I'm not too familiar of the wording that they say. It's just like, oh yeah, I old there's... players could have access. Yeah, right. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Well, let me update it and let me see. 
Yeah, you might be, if you want to play the new people in quick play competitive, you might be forced to buy them. My, my <sighs> thing that I like to do was do the, that game mode where it was random hero. Yeah, that's still around. Because I wasn't great with any particular one, but I was kind of decent across the board, which meant mm -hmm. that I could kind of excel there. Because a lot of people, they're just hoping for one of their mains. Yeah. It's definitely the flex player's uh, advantage. Like, I, I wasn't... A flex player. Maybe a flex tape player. <laughs> <laughs> flex tape. Like, uh, I could patch a few holes in the team, but... Yeah. Oh, I wasn't going to... Yeah, the wheel. This is probably good design. This is like the messiest sketch I've ever done on this. Stage. I think it's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> you, you say I it's messy it... because there's a lot of additional stuff. I, it is yeah. fairly poggers, if I do say so myself. Don't. <laughs> I love a fruity ASMR. Yes. Listen, I, I would take him and his partner out on a platonic date. Hey. Because they seem like they would be fun too. Yeah. Be go fun. to a play with or something of the sort. Uh huh. Well, as a bard, he would have appreciation for <sighs> most art forms. Um, and as a paladin, he would wreck your shit. So. <laughs> yep. Just a little sad that I've, I've really. I need, to, I need to unbind that quick key. I keep one, accidentally rotating. Um, one of the biggest things I miss about being in Chicago is being able to go to, like, Broadway musicals. Mm-hmm. Don't really have them here. Yeah, I guess not. gonna clean up I'm cleaning up my lines a little bit But let's think about what kind of subclasses. Oh, I I definitely do not know enough like subclasses off the top of my head. Um, for this guy, you can definitely brainstorm though. Um, I I would say. have to check all of the um classes yeah or the subclasses um, maybe cause... they're an eloquence barred treachery paladin interesting combo i don't know what none of those are but okay <laughs> and they would because treachery paladin they can create a duplicate of themselves so they could do a duet. <laughs> <laughs> but they could also have a bunch of hidden stuff, like a hidden compartment in the loot to fire out a dart that is poisoned or something of that. And Eloquent Bard is all about... Well, what is, their, what is the Oath of Treachery Bard? Because that's... 
That sounds um, kind that's of intense. Paladin. Or Treachery Paladin, I meant. It's in Unearthed Arcana. That was Mercy! That, that's where you can wait. That was but what's mercy. the oath? The... <laughs> what are they pledging themselves to? I mean, the technically... You, you could do it to a variety of things. Maybe you're trying to bring down a corrupt government or... So maybe you're the trickster is what it is. Maybe you're trying to be a Broadway star and you don't care who you have to backstab to get that main role. Listen, maybe um, Tatiana didn't fucking know what was coming. <laughs> she stabbed the fuck off. I mean, they say break a leg. I, I just made it happen. Well, they um, said break a leg. And Eloquence Bard is, one of their main features is if they do a persuasion or deception roll, they treat a roll of nine or lower as a ten, kind mm -hmm. of like the rogue's reliable yeah, talent. Yeah, yeah. And so they just never miss a beat, can always talk their way out. Mm-hmm. But they're also very good at speaking to crowds because one of their abilities allows them to attempt to befriend all creatures within a small range, essentially making them more receptive to other charm effects and mm -hmm. not a bit more reluctant to engage combat with Bard. And side note, if a creature uses the bardic inspiration, they can re-roll that die if they wish. Mm. <clears throat> I love this fruity guy so much already. <laughs> Fruit. Fruit. I, I designate you, I, I diagnose you with Fruit. Um... <laughs> I know you. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. You, my sir, are full of citrus. <laughs> Your presence drives away scurvy. <laughs> Lesser restoration, baby. Yeah. <laughs> would would a restoration spell cure scurvy? Actually, wait. Um, it's. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Jace, how would you rule? Does does lesser and or greater <laughs> restoration cure scurvy? I would have to look at the wording. Oh. So, it's scurvy. Is it a... Well, scurvy... Is it a disease? It's a, it's a malnutrition kind of thing. It's... It's so it's not like a, a it's not like a virus. Of... Yeah, it's a deficit. Yeah. So it's not so technically. I, yeah, deficit. I feel like I feel like lesser restoration, because it's not like something that's like immediate, like an immediate mm -hmm. thing. Not like oh, I am now missing my right arm. Like, <laughs> that's different. Um. Yes. Yeah, I'd say rest lesser restoration. Cool. I, I just want to say, with the outline as it is, with the out colors and stuff, it's a very Wonder Woman outfit, isn't it? A little bit. I the I did Which, realize the um, nothing's wrong with that. That's I did realize the kind of like corset middle bit looked Wonder Womany, but I didn't care. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was like, that's cool. You know what would actually be a more effective spell against scurvy? Hmm. Goodberry. Uh, yeah, I was either Goodberry or Druidcraft. Yeah. Druidcraft. Druidcraft and orange. <laughs> Eat the orange. Eat the orange. <laughs> yes. No, you're all right. Hmm. 
It makes that Could makes getting me? scurvy in D and D even more embarrassing. Like, just get yourself a druid friend, yeah. idiot. Could, yeah. could you imagine yeah. if you were had such a bad case of scurvy, like because there's certain acids in citrus fruits that make them so sour, but part part of it is that you need this stuff, and good berry is whatever dietary things you need. So if you had a severe sca- case of scurvy, a good berry would probably be incredibly sour. Like, the most sour thing you could imagine. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like... <laughs> that, that's why you don't get scurvy. You're afraid of the treatment. <laughs> <laughs> you get scurvy once, and you're like, oh, God. It's like okay. one of those... It's like mm-hmm. sucking on a handful of those black warheads. Uh-huh. Yeah. For like going along that same line, what about a good berry for somebody who has an iron deficiency? Ew. Me. It's no. just a chunk yeah. of metal. <laughs> you're just yeah, I was gonna say you're just eating metal at that point. I mean, it's uh, I think spinach has a lot of iron as well. It could literally it, it just does. be like super spinach, Spin- and you eat it, and spinach, it's like. Oh. I think okay, it's Pop, spinach, I broccoli, down. and <laughs> there was one other thing that had a box. I probably should know nutrition a bit better. <laughs> now imagine. I should be really happy with this medal, actually. Um... <laughs> now really imagine the questions that would come <laughs> up if you encountered a vampire that had iron deficiency. <laughs> be like, how? Well, you feed yourself. The, the good berry um, and or you just cram spinach in your mouth you give it like half an hour or so and then you... <sighs> yeah. yeah but how how would a vampire get iron deficiency since I think vampire iron, iron deficiency is just blood deficiency at that point for a vampire <laughs> yeah that's like we've been eating other things um. I still remember, speaking of vampires, um, there yeah. was a, sh- like, I think it was a short story I read one time um, where it was vampires, but the reason they needed blood was because they couldn't, like, make enough oxygen on their own, which I thought was such an interesting take, and it kind of reminded, this conversation reminded me of it because it was, um like, uh, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> mm-hmm. But like, it was an interesting take on it that I'd like never seen before, and still haven't seen anywhere else. Um, because mm-hmm. like, they were basically take like drinking blood to take oxygen levels from other people. <laughs> yeah. I mean, vampires are so varied. I know. I love vampires. Vampires hit me up. Um, I, 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 one of the things I kind of <laughs> appreciate is the thought that <laughs> maybe they drink blood because the whatever disease gives vampirism also causes anemia. Mm-hmm. So they need the platelets and stuff. Makes sense. I, I remember. Oh, go ahead, Jace. Uh, I was I was gonna say it, it reminds me of the the different uh, court types of vampires in the Dresden Files. Oh yeah, they do have different like things going on, don't they? Mm-hmm. You have the red court that that does blood. Yeah. But like the actual vampires. Uh, with the red court, you <laughs> you actually cut open their stomach. Uh. Because it's essentially oh. the it'll, yeah, like their stomach and intestine. Like that's where they hold all of their blood. Like they they use it, they burn through it because they can't produce their own. And then you have the white court, which is emotions, mm-hmm. which 
mostly is just sexual. Um, <laughs> because it's the Dresden Files. Yeah, well, not <laughs> just because it's the Dresden Files, but you're talking about very strong emotions. Yeah. Well, um, the the Dresden Files in the first book, uh, he breaks into like the climax of the uh, bad guy, and they're literally casting sex magic. So, <laughs> like, there are two yes, dudes. Like, I feel like this is isn't talked one. about ever, but like, he breaks in to fight the bad guy, and there are two people just having sex on the floor. Like, yeah. that was a real thing. It was a real thing. <laughs> it was absolutely a real thing. I think he was very horny when he wrote the first few books. <laughs> I, I mean, so. perfect time to strike. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, no, like, the first murder was a pair of people, their hearts literally fucking exploded out of their chest. Like, that was the first murder, and it was... They were killed during sex, using sex magic from another place. Yeah. That was the whole first book. Um, great series, by the way. Fucking love it. Um, <laughs> but no, especially in the, especially the later books, like way backed off the, all all of the sexual stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of like family and like big existential questions as you start getting into the later books. Yeah, I I unfortunately like, dropped oh, it. Um, because I I. I, I was told it gets better, but, like, I, I couldn't, like, I dropped it around book four or five because I got really tired of some of the tropes. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, check Discord. Um, so, so here's a thought. Hold on. Let me respond to Adam in this stream. Um, I'm going to say no simply because we are in another discord right now and there's only a half hour left of stream just about um but uh just i don't want to like move everything around um but you can hang out and chat All right you can go in so uh, i i had this mental image of you have a bunch of people who were who are vampires but one of them before becoming Mm -hmm. A vampire was, like, the person who liked really well-done foods. So they're all going to a steakhouse, and everybody gets incredibly rare steaks, except for this one who gets it medium, and everybody's just, like, looking at them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, that would probably be a newspaper comic, like a <laughs> one-panel thing. Uh-huh. I did check out the Ramatra thing. Mm hmm It would uh there's a bunch of practice range stuff. Mm -hmm. There's like a challenge to unlock him. Oh. 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 Yeah. So you and can if you complete him. the challenges, yeah. Oh, thank God. Hmm. I didn't know that was a thing, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I had no idea how you were going to get them without buying if you didn't play the previous season. Because that's how, that's how, like, Jolly and I unlocked them is we got to, like, Battle Pass 40 or whatever. 45. 45. It was still painful. I mean, yeah. the BP made it easier to get him, but... Yeah. <laughs> he got the BP later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have no idea if a watch dude got the story mode. Story mode. No. No, no. All of you to assume they actually went through with that in the beginning of their campaign. I, I, like, I, it's no. it's still something? coming, but they wanted to get the they wanted to push the um the PVP out. So I guess probably so they could stop doing Overwatch one stuff and focus their manpower on new shit. Um, they I'm have safe. made over a hundred million thousand a mil hundred million thousand. I can't remember the huh? number, but that's how much they made this year. Mm. I would rather Blizzard <laughs> fix like all of the questionable 
company practices and employee discrimination and right. things like that. Right. Then put out new content for any of the games. <laughs> the more I hear about Blizzard making money, it's like, oh, well, how many workers are they going to lay off yeah. that amount of money? <laughs> like hey guys how's this novel idea let's hire and reward people based off of merit and not being <laughs> cis white males well right now actively from the sounds of it they're media. making they're making collaborations with other series yeah. so like there's gonna be a one punch man doom this mm -hmm. um event and my god there's soldier actually has the um I don't know if anyone even reads or watches uh, One Punch Man, but they gave Soldier the the Bicycle Man hero. No <laughs> way. I love it. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me see if I can find the post for it because I was like, oh, "What God. in the world am I oh, looking writer, at?" That's oh, my God. Oh, like, God. Yeah, we are just discussing wants... Fortnite now. Oh God, that's like your dad is going trick or treating with you, and that's the costume or something. <laughs> well, it's actually it's even better than that. He the uh, writer doesn't have any actual powers. No. Yeah, he just rides he a bicycle is... and is like trying yeah. to be a hero. Yeah, it, and well, I mean, he is he is heroic. Amazing, he ha yeah. he embodies the hero spirit, but yeah. he will only uh, he he has maxed himself out as a what is a B class hero, I believe it is, in the anime. I think yeah, yeah. I only watched yeah. like a bit of it. He, he throws like, a fucking bike. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he is he is like the most famous B class hero, but he can never, despite wanting to, he can never move up to class A. Because he doesn't have any super power, superpowers, he is just a normal dude. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're saying he's just a guy. It's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. <laughs> writer. <laughs> writer. 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 I love it. <laughs> yes. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Moomin Rider. I knew it wasn't M Mugen Rider. It was Moomin Rider. That is the that yeah. is the hero's name. Yes. M Mugen uh, is means like infinity. I think. You had the Something message like the that, song yeah. you the other day. Now you know. It's right there. Mm -hmm. It's the way. Moomin Rider. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. The money will be used for a copyright. Uh, reasons of mm -hmm. other franchises. Uh -huh. uh. Yeah. It's. My palette is all over the fucking place. I, I mean, honestly, if that's really all you're doing, like collabs with other IPs, it's kind of showing you're maybe slowing down a bit in the development of it. Yeah. Maybe. Well, I just did the, uh, all the practice challenges. That was actually oh. really fucking easy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I can imagine, yeah. It's just like do specific things with the abilities and but like I get it though like it, it's a good way to make you use all of them and show what they can do. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. So you're not just like, "Oh, what's this new character going to be?" Right. Like no, <laughs> you have to go into the practice range and try out all the specific things and, you know, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. cool. You know how to put up a like in this case Ramatra. You know how to put up the barrier. You know what the <laughs> ultimate does. You you know what their the E and primary fire are. Um, you know the different modes. Like you know shit. <laughs> we are That's talking a... Overwatch. Yeah, Joe's been playing a bit of Overwatch with us recently. That's Yay. good for the average player, but for like content creators where they don't main Overwatch, it kind of 
impedes with them just jumping in and trying out new things. No. I'm sure there's a way that they can pay for it. And oh, no doubt. Quite I easy. <laughs> they should add a feature where Ash kisses Jill directly on the mouth. You're so right. <laughs> you was so right. I'm pretty sure I have a brush in here that is literally music notes. And I'm just fully ignoring it in favor of pain. Um... <laughs> Need their hot take. Uh, Adam needs your hot takes as we get closer to the NHL trade deadline. Ooh. Any what? Uh, National Hockey League. Oh. Yeah. You got any hot takes, or you uh, do you not pay attention to the trades at all? I. I don't have any of the moment. Mm. I'm I'm kind of I'm personally I'm waiting to see what happens. Like and, so well, see, so here's the other problem too is it's like I I have a couple different things that I've been looking at. It's just like don't think it depends on it. Yeah, no, and the Penguins haven't done anything yet, and they're mostly the only team that I'm concerned with. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I did see the thing about the Rangers trading for Tarasenko. And like there, there have there have been a couple that have been that have been newsworthy, um, but no, mostly like that that hasn't been the one that's caught my attention as uh, the NHL trade deadline. Honestly, some of the weirder stuff has been happening like in esports that I've been watching, and I'm just yeah. like, why the oh. fuck is that happening? Do you share? Um. So one of the one of the sports that I keep an eye on, actually, mostly it's a team, um, Optic Gaming. Um, they they went through some really fucking weird trades and. They've they've had some great players and I know I'm not big like in, you know, like watching and like watching up and coming players and like, you know, farm teams and you know who is doing well at like the amateur level and whatnot mm -hmm. but man thursday i'm looking at my phone and one of one of their players tweets that he's a restricted free agent now and i'm going huh? wait what we're halfway through this season like what the fuck okay and Hello. some kid that i have i have no i had never heard of was named to the starting roster and you're just like okay so we're we're dropping a guy that was on the 2020 championship team and was like and you know basically all-star level on that team like but what is that budget disagreement I, something happened yeah they they have been going through all sorts of issues right now anyway so it's just like oh my gosh and then i remind myself that it's just you know it's sports and i don't make enough money to buy a team so it really should not matter to me mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah now if i had enough money to buy a team i would but <laughs> I don't. What would the team be? Like, uh, what team would you want to buy, or what team would you want to make, like with what mascot? Oh my gosh, I would. I would want to buy into an existing team. Like it. Like with most sports at this point, it's. It's not like I could just buy in and be able to navigate that in a way mm -hmm. where I'm going to be able to make good choices. So it's truly a case of I'm going to I'm going to buy into a team that already exists and I believe in. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, fair so, enough. yeah. So an organization like uh, Envy, who who owns Optic, um, technically, if I'm understanding the 
buyout agreement right like that that would be really cool um, adam's asking you to bring the whalers back <laughs> bring the whalers back oh yes yeah we we would bring back the hartford whalers uh the <laughs> NHL. um fuck if i could do that oh god bring back like get a buyer group together create an organization in hartford oh maybe maybe wouldn't even need to be hartford because that doesn't feel like a big enough market but somewhere with a big enough market that you could do both esports and traditional sports and the whole team is just the whalers because that's literally it is more like one of the best if not like the best logo ever what's their logo look at it it is it is a w and a whale's tail it is it, and the colors are like not what you would expect uh-huh. from from a sports organization like it's genuinely good genuinely good <laughs> Hartford New Haven metro area is one of the biggest areas in the U.S. to not have any major... Oh, I Mm -hmm. see. I I assume you're talking about Connecticut? Yes. Yes. Because I don't know any other Hartfords. Yeah. Yep. Hartford, Connecticut. You know, and then, you know, you have places with, you know, multiple... Uh, teams of the same sport. Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Chicago not, not even the state of Illinois. Fucking hockey team. Yeah. It, it, it's not even the entire state. It's just Chicago. It's just Chicago. Oh, Adam sent me the logo. He he he. Whoa. It is... Yeah, I mean, it, is... it probably is contributing That's to nice. why everybody thinks Chicago is the capital of Illinois, not Springfield. Well, we did that. <laughs> like it used to be yeah. the capital, and we were like, "No, we can't give Chicago all the power." Well, and they were like right. the capital of Illinois, <laughs> but... <laughs> it's, 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 Springfield existed well before Chicago, and I think that's part of it. But I, I think the driving reason um, was literally to like not give Chicago ev- like a hundred percent of the power in Illinois. Well, also, Chicago started around the meatpacking industry and uh-huh. railroad and canal trade. Because Cincinnati was originally, like, someone went up there and proposed for the railroads to go to Cincinnati and, like, all of the shipping lines and stuff like that, and then... <laughs> they were like, "No, we don't want that." Newest and... uh, newest patch just dropped. Uh, Illinois nerfed Chicago. <laughs> and the thing yeah, I say about they did, like the one good thing about being a sports fan, which I'm not a sports fan, but a sports fan in Illinois, is that with six or seven professional sports teams over like as many sports some multiple teams for this work you can always have a sports team that is doing well you'll also have several that are doing horrendously but Mm -hmm. Uh, honestly if you're a chicago sports fan you have whatever local team you root for and then the other team that's actually good that you root for that isn't in chicago yeah. No, we we root for uh the Cubs and that's it. Mm-hmm. That's it. Who well, unfortunately the... haven't been good for a couple years or a couple years. They ago. won the World Series. They <laughs> really? did. And the then... one time I tuned yeah. into a sports game um on my own, no other prompting. Was when the cu- the, the, the Cubs uh, the best, made it. The best oh, part God. about that is how it was like jokingly predicted in Back to the Future. <laughs> like the only thing is that it it was down to the 
teams almost. And the only thing is that I I I forget who the opponent was, but in Back to the Future, the team that they faced was the team that they faced in the semifinals and not <laughs> the finals in real life. Uh, approximate knowledge of, of many things and so on and so forth. I mean, that's how you do it. Yep. Yeah. But also, yeah, you blame it on a coast curse involving a goat instead of your own <laughs> capabilities and pra hiring practices and training <laughs> um Listen. cody uh, uh i i would like to correct your statement for the let the record show that it was in fact the goat and this man is just very confused <laughs> cody does not just, just, represent just, us just um, the official record yeah. <laughs> what is in fact the goat? And we broke the curse. Yes, curse? they were only what four years off of when they said the curse actually was. I mean, part of that I do believe it contributed to it in the sense of it's a placebo effect. <laughs> you think you're cursed, you're gonna play like you're cursed. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, you had the whole city worried about it. Well, that's just people like did you know if you think about working out but but you don't actually work out you'll be in slightly better shape than if you don't work out and don't think about working out i'll get right on that i'll get back placebo to you effect. <laughs> placebo effect is weird there's our van how's that Come get Damn. your hands. Oh, <laughs> so pretty. Damn, look at that boy. 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 Fruity. Fruit. <laughs> Fruit. With a... I love him. Yeah. Actually, I would take him out to a nice dinner. Yeah. Honestly, yes. He'll make you pay, but... um. I mean, He'll make you watch like a pay. bard would. Yeah. Now, 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 this guy would not be going to a sports game. <laughs> it's more like he uses his sports. He uses his charm to flirt. He's into sports, but like. But he can't. More name into the, the team. sports players. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he, he's that's into why people are into hockey. Though. Yeah, he's into hockey. He, he, he's, he's into, into hockey. sports, but he doesn't know any of the players' names. <laughs> he will also, yeah, Adam is right. Uh, he will also like gossip and dish with you. Um, yeah, he he will help you spread malicious rumors beyond the backs of <laughs> your enemies. Yes. Oh my gosh, did he see who he was dating? <laughs> Serving the hottest tea. And with does he have a, does he have a hairdo? name? No uh, or no? No, he doesn't have a he does not have a name yet. Oh, I haven't named any of the um, the characters I've drawn. the the cow The cats don't count because they they were based off of real cats with names. But yeah. right. Francesco Adam says, I do like that name. That is very Francesco. Cute. Francesco. That does that does fit. Francesco. Francesco Sintronius. We should ask Michelle for like one of those Francesco... five part Cuban names. What did you say? Sit. Sintronius. Hmm? Oh, no. Are you doing it like that or like a citrus fruit? <laughs> oh, like a citrus fruit. <laughs> oh. S there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Every C no. in his name is pronounced differently. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Do you so think he would use the name that he was given at birth? No. Nope. No. <laughs> no. That is illegal. Francesco Citronos. And it's specifically Chesco so that every mm -hmm. C is pronounced differently. Francesco. <laughs> <laughs> what? Fucking nailed it. <laughs> Oh boy. 
Um, we have 10 minutes left of stream. What do I do with this time? Oh, you haven't gotten the wings yet. At least, oh, you're it's right. not. I didn't do the wings. It's not like it's not like a you know. It needs to be there, but it's like no, you know, no, what no. If, you're right. right. No, I did intend to do the the wings. I just completely, totally forgot. Um, we're gonna we, we can. It'll be like a quick. Yeah. Um, I can fill ten minutes with that. Um, let me see. I know there's a ribbon that's like. <laughs> you have to go find it. <laughs> I never use these ribbons. Um, musical note. There you go. See? Oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's also glitter. All I can see in body Sojo. Showing? <laughs> <laughs> so many ribbons. Woo! Very, I could do a lot of anime effects with these. Um, <laughs> I mean, he he does embody very yeah. 90s anime body. <laughs> he really, really does. Ooh! I saw the yellow. Yeah. Oh. I'm trying to... I'm not trying to... It's kind of <laughs> kind of giving me Wings Club Wings vibes Club with these. <laughs> oh, I, I am going to wing it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna strangle you, Becca. Actually, <laughs> don't blame well. me, Adam. Was the one who said that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That's a good plan. Let me. All right, I got up two and a half levels. I think it's enough nice. for this evening. I don't want to give him actually fairy wings because that feels a little on the nose and. All rude. I'm getting here is that. He has the pansexual colors right now. Fuck. <laughs> Is that a Freudian influence? Well, at least I didn't do the bi flag on accident and again. No, you did. You did, you did the pan one. I'm, not, I'm okay with that. As long as I didn't do the bi flag fucking again. You do this every time, Becca. Every fucking time. <laughs> wow! Wow! This is a really great color palette. He's like, yeah. And then suddenly, gay. <laughs> yeah, but it is a good color palette. It is a good color palette. <laughs> yes, but it's the pastel primaries. Yeah. Oh, that looks messy. Oh as hell. yes. Um, yeah. I don't really know what effect I'm going for, but there's an effect for sure. Mm, I don't know. Let me look at these real quick. Um, they might have add a... them better than the Blackhawks oh, one, which you, you previously see. said they don't deserve. There we go. This is what I was thinking <gasps> There's of. the music one! There you go. Yeah, the there we go. Long. It 
It's like his uh, you want wings them, have. Ribbed. You want them curved, or you want you're just gonna have them stagnate, like. <laughs> um, if you mean like fade out. Yeah, like fade out. Um, hold on, I think I. I can do that better. Um. There we go. You can post that now. Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh huh. He's very fruit. I love him already. <laughs> I adopted him. There, he's a lovely man. <laughs> he has been adopted. Adopted. You adopted. are well, adopted. Uh, I mean, <laughs> technically, if Maddie sees him, I'm like, yes, I must protect this fruity man. <laughs> fruit, I then buy fruit. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, it only took five minutes. <laughs> oh so my god, god Becca. Wow. I mean, we don't have to go why, for do, why don't we give him a familiar that's like... A rainbow cat or something. Uh, no, I'll that... do you one better. Hold what? On. How much? How much are we going here? What? It, what's? What's happening? Okay. Um. Let's see if I can do this from memory. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> another Becca just draws things from memory. <laughs> This is familiar. This is this familiar. I made his the eraser too big. Hold on. Okay. Is it a? <laughs> what is that? I is that a squirrel? I think they're called gerboas. <laughs> what? <laughs> they're, they're, gerboas have the really long tail and they jump like insanely they, high. They, like. They, they're like they rats, also, but no. they're just all head. They, <laughs> what? Wait, I need to search this. They well, the also baby take dust baths instead of regular baths. They're so, oh, dude, I think they're so cute. Really cute. J e r b o a. I think they were adorable, but they are also uh, kind of little what, freaks. What, I mean, what they the they world? have. They have tiny arms. They have arms, but they're always like held up they're, under yeah, them while they're hopping extremely... because of air resistance and stuff yeah. like that. They look like so kangaroos. It looks like... Yeah, they're like little kangaroo kind of... rats. They're just all all head. That like... is all head. Oh my god, this little thing here. You you should <laughs> you should watch them in movement. They're so good. Yeah, so, no. I mean, it's such a small familiar. <laughs> <laughs> in the world. <laughs> I'm so pissed. <laughs> I'm so pissed. <laughs> I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. i it's really not. It's so, it's so it's small. It's beautiful. <laughs> Why did you make the words bigger than the mouse? They actually really small. Even sure you don't miss him. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the thing with the jerboa is it is it has a little puff ball out like... of its tail and it uses it to paint. Jerboa, <laughs> you already. I'm like, oh yeah, it's really small. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna make this bigger. The word or the mouse? I the also word? like how the word is covered by Jason's podcast. Yep, it's just me. It up. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no. This mouse is gonna fucking stop. <laughs> Con Connor, he gives and receives in equal proportions. <laughs> He's a verse, <laughs> please. Uh <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> He's got negative one hit point. <laughs> Definitely negative one. <laughs> Damn, 
Damn, it's actually a ghost. You <laughs> <laughs> love him. <laughs> the color! The color, Becca! Um, well, he's a familiar, so he can be whatever he wants to be, Barbie girl. Um... <laughs> Okay. I believe. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. you chose bubblegum pink. He's a bubblegum. He's like a bubblegum. <laughs> it's like one of those things when a kid blows a really big bubblegum bubble and then it pops in their face. He Francesco oh Francesco got um got his familiar from. <laughs> oh no, you're right. He looks like he's in skin. Fuck. Uh, he got his. <laughs> He got his familiar from one of those, like, gumball machines. Make, make oh it turquoise. God. Like. <laughs> he looks skinned alive. What the there. You said make him turquoise, and I was actually already, like, going for the turquoise, so. Yeah. He said, said he looks skinned. <laughs> I'm crying so loud. His name's Bubblegum. Because he oh came God. from the bubblegum machine. Oh, that's so cute. He came. He um, came. From... The... I wanted bubblegum, but all I got was this fucking rat. <laughs> don't... So don't forget I mean... to say... Don't forget to sign and save. <laughs> save. Yes, <laughs> just... Yes, yes. He didn't want the rat. The rat followed him. <laughs> he, wanted the rat. he wanted the bubblegum. And, and he called it the rat. Bubblegum is joining the party against your will. <laughs> and then one day, bubblegum Followed. alerted him oh. to Ooh. a bunch of people about to run into the room at the inn where he was staying. Ah. Woke him up. And since then, nobody fucks with bubblegum. <laughs> This is my baby. <laughs> I love this lore. <laughs> this is good lore. This, this relationship lore. of like, I didn't ask for familiar, but okay, I guess. <laughs> Why is the rat a better lore than me? <laughs> Let me do your lore. We got this. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, yeah. we, gotta, we gotta put thought into our precious babies. You uh, like a for a rat! <laughs> I just <thought> about the <laughs> <You> just... <laughs> I think I broke Jolly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that uh, sounds like the. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. I keep looking at him, he's so small. He's so small! <laughs> <laughs> so fucking cute. So fucking cute. So cute. Well, <laughs> on that note, we're gonna end the stream. Francesco is done. Bubblegum is with him. Asamai. Awesome, uh, Bubblegum and Francesco? <laughs> no, the, the rat won the spot. The, the, rat team, won the, the spot. team name is Bubblegum Bitch. Uh, Bubblegum <laughs> is the Bubblegum, and, and he's the bubble bitch. Bubblegum Bitch. <laughs> It's a team name. He made up a team name for them. It's, it's, it's... bubblegum, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for showing up. We are live again tomorrow afternoon for our D and D stream um, at four p.m. Eastern time. Um, we stream on other days of the week as well. Connor streams on Wednesdays. Um, Next, uh, most Fridays have been a drawing stream, but we might do Overwatch next week instead. We'll see when we get a little bit closer. Um, just to mix it up a little bit. And that's about it. I'll post him to, I'll post this sketch to Twitter, uh, in a little bit. And, um, join our Discord, follow our Twitter, follow our Twitch. Have a great rest of your Friday. Everyone say bye stream. Bye. <laughs>